Hello, everybody. In response to the uh, previous survey where most of you guys uh, preferred having educational stories on Instagram rather than on Snapchat, uh, we'll give this a try. This is the first Instagram uh, educational radiology bit story. And uh, here's the case in front of you. This is your typical chest radiograph on a sick ICU patient where lots of things are going around. However, don't let that distract you. There is one important rule to emphasize today. Always remember, check tubes and lines first, and then address all other abnormalities. So when it's a sick patient with tubes and lines, that's the first thing you have to look at. Now to better understand what's going on with that ICU film, let's look at a normal radiograph. Let's review normal anatomy here, then proceed. So as we know, the uh, right internal jugular vein runs uh, somewhere here to join the right subclavian vein, forming a uh, vertical brachiocephalic vein. This is on the right side. The same thing happens on the left side where you have a left internal jugular vein joining a left subclavian vein to form a left brachiocephalic vein but there's a difference. Note how, in comparison to the right side, the left brachiocephalic vein is longer, has an oblique or horizontal course that crosses from left to right, while the right brachiocephalic vein remains on the right side, and when they both join together, they form the SVC. So, the brachiocephalic vein on the left crosses from left to right, joining the right brachiocephalic vein and forming the SVC. So this means that if you're inserting a venous line via the right side, whether it's the right internal jugular or subclavian veins, it should remain on the right side of the mediastinum. However, if you insert a line via the left subclavian or left internal jugular veins, this line should always cross the midline from left to right through the mediastinum to reach the right side. Knowing all that and going back to the uh, busy ICU film that we saw originally, you could tell that the left-sided line is not normal. So there is a line that's inserted via the left internal jugular vein. It should cross the upper mediastinum from left to right, but it's not doing that. It continues in the same straight course along the left side of the mediastinum. So this is not a normal line course. To summarize, a venous line inserted via the right side should remain on the right, while that inserted via the left side should always cross the midline. Now, before we leave this case, I'll give you this question. Where do you think the line is running. So what are the possibilities? Number two, what would be your clinical action? Thanks for watching this first uh, Instagram story educational clip. Uh, hopefully it was useful. I'd appreciate your comments and uh, hopefully we'll see you with more cases later.